Before we begin the video, I would like to direct you all to my subscribe start page, where all my premium content including the ultimate not safe for life iceberg and much more is hosted. It's a far better platform than Patreon, and as my Patreon page was removed due to false reports from someone harassing me on YouTube, I am no longer getting income from Patreon or anywhere else, so it would be a big help for you guys to subscribe to my subscribe start today and get something in return. After watching Jessica's new video on the recent wave of Elsagate videos emerging here again on YouTube, I decided to look into a subject I had never really looked into. Monkeygate. No, I'm not joking. But what exactly is Monkeygate? Or Monkey Hate Gate? It's a title given to the phenomenon of zoo sadists, specifically hyperfixating on monkeys or apes. There's an entire subreddit dedicated to the research of this phenomenon by the same name. Doing some digging and finally heeding a suggestion by you, my audience, I found that pretty much no matter what kind of video you find involving monkeys or apes, there is at least one thread of comments where people gather to post the most obscene and sadistic shit about abusing these animals. Many questions are easily raised with this subject, like, why? But another that is posted on r slash monkey hate gate is are these people organized? Are there groups of monkey haters with discord channels and the like? Well, apparently yes. Most notably a group called Million Pity, who, believe it or not, are based primarily on YouTube. However, members of this group don't just post bizarre monkey-hating content or comments to the YouTube platform. Just like Cerberus, they too produce some of the most depraved zoo sadist media on the internet. Searching for Million Pity on YouTube shows thousands of, well, tame videos by comparison showcasing the pain of baby monkeys. On 4chan and other communities like it, the more extreme videos are posted. Like One Monkey One Drill, aka Drill Rat, as the Monkey Gate community often refers to monkeys, primarily macaques, as rats. The video begins with a man putting hot sauce in the anus of a female macaque monkey. He uses a spoon while its arms and legs are bound and it's held upside down. The man then puts hot sauce in the animal's eyes while it writhes in pain. This is actually a common practice of abuse inflicted by child sex slaves in Cambodia where many of these videos originate. It continues with some of the most horrific footage imaginable. The animal's limbs are then nailed to a piece of wood and she is beaten with a stick. The man then holds a drill up to the animal's eye, driving it through its eye socket and out of its skull. He reverses it and repeats this with the other eye socket, leaving the animal writhing in pain, blind. The video ends with the drill being bored through the ear canal as the animal screams until it dies. And this is just one of hundreds, if not thousands of videos like this actively created by this community. Various suicidists in the YouTube comments as well as two of the video producers have been identified. The creators of One Monkey One Drill are two Cambodian nationalists and they're responsible for making many of the million pity videos depicting extreme animal cruelty to baby monkeys in Cambodia. These videos circulate wildly all over 4chan and various monkey wrecked threads, and were being sold by Ripper and his friends in the Mondo Asia Discord. The psychology behind this phenomenon is equally fascinating, as it is disturbing as the entire focus on monkeys and apes, primarily small monkeys, just doesn't make sense from an outside perspective, or at least someone who likes animals. These people will run through mental gymnastics and hoops to try to justify their hatred for these animals and their desires to torture and kill them, even making claims to being quote-unquote real animal lovers and they would never hurt another person or an animal. Just monkeys. The creators of One Monkey and One Drill have been arrested, but that still doesn't stunt this so-called community in the least bit. A post on r slash monkey hate gate caught my attention and I'd like to read off an excerpt for you. I talk about this as well. If you watch the videos on YouTube, just type in baby monkey temper tantrum. A baby monkey steals milk, you'll see monkeys screaming because they haven't been given milk in a few minutes. In juvenile stealing milk from pregnant mothers that aren't even their mothers. Some people consider this spoiled behavior infuriating and mix that with the sound of the cries and you have to personally know someone who that can't handle babies cry. But imagine if the baby was doing it for extra personal gain. Researching this topic and specifically the search term million pity brought me to a bunch of bizarre videos of baby macaques feeding and stealing milk, 
only to be greeted with the disturbing abuse written comments below. It raises disturbing questions to the individuals who rationalize the hatred of these animals. Like this, like the OP said. Thinking about this though, it begs the question about these people's thoughts on actual children. As many of the tortured animals are actually juvenile macaques or literally infants. More and more extreme torture has been commissioned and paid for, and traded through telegram groups and discords, later just to be leaked onto 4chan's GIF and other boards. Also, there is a community known as Kids Punishment, and that's about real children, not monkeys. It exists on YouTube as well, and some say it's related. And if that's true, does that mean exactly what we think it means? Probably so. If anything like the ultimate not safe for life iceberg has taught us is, the deeper you dig, the worse the world gets. The two creators of that video were arrested, but like I said, it doesn't stunt the community in the least bit. Not only that, but there are still YouTube content creators pushing this as well, and it's a very bizarre world, and now I see why people wanted me to look into it. It just doesn't seem to make sense to me. Even looking as a third person upon other people like Cerberus, for instance, who abuse dogs. The monkey community almost separates itself in a weirder fashion just because they are so hyper fixated on baby monkeys and they try to rationalize it as if it's such a normal discussion. Whereas the typical zoo sadist, so to speak, gag, is like very private and secret, obviously. This is like people want this to be the norm and it just doesn't make much sense. They're animals, they're may not be the best tempered and they do weird things, but penguins are actually no different either if you look into the quote, evils of animal behavior. Penguins also engage in weird behaviors like rape, necrophilia, and the like. I mean, most birds do. Yeah, that's a thing. But monkeys specifically to hyperfixate on, I don't know. I'm not this type of person, so of course it doesn't make sense. But it's just so disturbing, and I can't believe it's real. But thank you for watching, and if you'd like to support me directly, as my Patreon no longer exists due to targeted harassment, you can head on over to subscribestar.com slash moth or hit the links in the description to support me directly. There you'll find a new and improved platform with all my videos in a downloadable format, including the ultimate not safe for life iceberg, the soon to be made infamous 4 remasters, and much much more. Oh, yeah, deleted videos too. Not to mention you'll get access to my Discord server, where you can join the Hivemind community and chat with me personally. It's really fun in there and very inclusive. Just follow the rules. Thank you all for your continued support and love through this difficult time. I look forward to having you all see the next video. See ya.